this video, I just want to look at using BFD3 on a Surface Pro 3 or even Pro 4 and just go over some tips and things you may want to think about when installing it and using it. Okay, so let's go ahead and install BFD3. So what I've done is downloaded the update from my F Expansion account, and this is how we're going to install BFD3 on our Surface. So first we'll just install the application. Okay, and this would be just like, uh, you know, any kind of install, so you don't need to uh, see this here. Okay, so short and sweet, we just installed BFD3. Of course, that's just the application. Now we really have to do, oh, well, we have to activate it, but we don't have any content. So that's what I wanna show you in this video is installing the content. And I'll authorize it uh, after I get that installed. So if you're downloading the content, go ahead and download it. I actually already have it backed up. And right now, connected to our Surface, we have this hard drive here, which I back up all my samples to my sample libraries. And then we have another external hard drive, a portable hard drive here. So some things you want to consider is with BFD3, the libraries are huge, right? So these are all the libraries I have. Now, if I installed all these libraries here, it's gonna be like 250 gigs. Okay, so obviously we can't do that, but we need to install enough so BFD3 is actually useful. So in my opinion, I need the BFD3 content, the main library for BFD3. I'll need that completely installed on my actual surface and not on an external hard drive, okay? Because if it's on an external hard drive, then this has to be plugged in for BFD3 to see that content. Now, as you saw, we, we could actually open BFD3 without any, any content, but it's completely useless without some sort of libraries. Now, one thing you may want to consider is maybe you just want to install a smaller library, like uh, if you have Oblivion, that's a smaller library. Uh, Sphere is a smaller one. Heavy, that's a smaller library. Maybe you just want to install that to the actual surface so you can sort of just you know, pound out ideas with your pen and the sequencer and uh, get your ideas down without having to need an external hard drive attached. But in my opinion, I think the BFD3 core library really needs to be installed for BFD3 to be useful enough, right? So what I'm going to do is install the BFD3 library onto the actual surface and all the other libraries, or not, not even all of them, just some of them, because I don't have that much space on here, but you know the ones I want, I'll install to the external drive. So if I wanna use those, I'll have to plug this in. However, if this is not around, say I'm somewhere with just my Surface, I'm still able to actually use BFD3 because I will have the uh, content library, the core library installed. Now, now you're probably saying, you know, the core library is pretty large just on its own, right? Let me click on here and go to properties. And right here, you can see the core library, it's almost 40 gigs. You know, I don't want 40 gigs, um, you know, on my... Uh, on my Surface hard drive because we only have 256 gigs to play with. But whenever you install BFD3, the core library, you'll, you'll have options of the level uh, you want to install, small, medium, or large. Now, of course, on my main computer, I do large for everything, of course. But on something like a Surface, so we have full, medium, small. I want small. As you can see, that only takes about 18 gigs versus if we went to full, we're talking 54 gigs. Now, technically I have the space, but I don't want to be that tight on hard drive space on my surface. So we'll go small. That way, in my opinion, BFD3 will still be extremely useful, even when we do not have you know, external hard drive. Since we'll have the core library on the surface, we can use BFD3 anywhere to pound out ideas to, to uh, draw in sequences and things like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and install this and we can choose where to install. And like I said, I want that on my C drive. I better zoom in again so you can actually see. I want that on my C drive, okay? And for any of the other, yes, I'll create that. And for any of the other libraries, you know, like I said, I'll probably install those on our external or maybe something like Sphere, which is pretty small already. I can install that directly through the hard drive. That wouldn't be too bad. So I'll go ahead and let this install and uh, we'll open it up and I'll just show you real quick how it works on a surface. Okay, so now we have installed the BFD3 core library at that reduced, uh, at that small level, okay? So all that's in here. And that means we do not need an external hard drive attached. All we'll need is our surface because it's on our surface hard drive. And just to prove that, I'm gonna hit play here. Put the grooves here.
Okay, so it's working. It works. It actually works pretty well. It's not super touch friendly. Okay, but that's why we have our pin. And let me just prove this to you real quick here. We'll unattach that external hard drive. And actually, you know, before I go any further, let me also talk about this here. So our other libraries that we want to install, zoom in here. These other libraries that I might want to install, those I'll probably install to our external hard drive. Okay, and if I want to use them, of course, that means I have to plug that external hard drive in unless maybe I, I there's a situation where I know I'll need one of those libraries that's installed on my external drive. Then I can always just drag that library off of the external drive and just drag it onto our Surface hard drive, just like I showed you in a previous video about installing complete on a Surface Pro 3. So. You know, you can install any of any library that you have on a different hard drive, on an external hard drive. And then if for some reason you absolutely need it on the actual surface because you can't take a hard drive with you or whatever the case may be, you know, just drag it over and put it on your on your OS hard drive. Okay, and then use it. And whenever you're done with it, delete it. Don't delete it off your external hard drive that you install it to. Just copy it over. And then you would come into BFD3 here up into your tools and your setup content locations. Okay. And then you just, you know, add that path really, really easy to do in BFD three. Okay. But I was going to show you here. Let me unplug that hard drive. Now, right now this surface is in the dock. Let me zoom out a bit just so we can prove this, unattach it, pull this out. I'll even take the keyboard off. Why the heck not flip out the uh, kickstand there. Okay, so hopefully you can see that, uh, you know, this is just the surface, nothing else attached, and we're able to use BFD3. So, again, in my opinion, the reason why we installed at the lower, at the lower level, at that small uh, content level, was because, in my opinion, for BFD3 to be really useful, at least for me, I need to be able to use it anywhere and everywhere without having to have a uh, external hard drive attached at all times. So if you're just relaxing somewhere, you know, and you want to, you think of an idea, you want to maybe go over to your groove editor. That's where the pin is really going to come in handy, you know, because touching this uh, interface, it's not exactly touch friendly, but using the pin should work if I have the right as you can see there i'll zoom in a little bit so using the pin here we can put in our hits wherever we want and that's the great thing about the pin and that and that's why i think to really use bfd3 on a surface you really need that content on the actual surface so like i said if you're relaxing somewhere and what if your external hard drive is at a different location you know maybe it's at home you're somewhere else you want to pound out an idea you just have your surface well you're out of luck if you know, the only library you have installed for BFD3 is on your external and you didn't bring it with you. So it doesn't have, you don't have to install the core library, but you should install some library, something that's smaller, that just has a few pieces. So you can at least, you know, uh, put together grooves here in the groove editor. So that way, no matter where I am, I'm able to use the groove editor here, you know, and uh, let's see, new groove. All right. Then I just go in here and start pounding in. That's the wrong one. That on palette. So then you're able to come in here and start putting in your grooves. Okay. So hopefully you get the idea there. But again, you know, it's it's pretty useful as long as you have the pin. So that way, no matter where you are, and since we have that library installed onto our actual Surface hard drive, no matter where you are, with nothing else attached, you can use BFD3, and you can just pound out your drum ideas anywhere at all, you know, very easily with the pin here. It works great. You know, that's one reason why I always like BFD3 is because they include, you know, a drum editor right within the software. 
Uh, you know, a lot of a lot of companies don't do that, and you really have to open something like Pro Tools or Bitwig. That's why I always use BFD3, and it's it's pretty useful actually to have that integrated. So that's pretty cool. So again, that's really just some tips I wanted to mention uh, of using BFD3 on a Surface tablet. Have your pen handy. You know, have an external hard drive for all of your libraries or, or most of your libraries. You probably won't need to install all of your libraries. Once again, make sure you install something on this Surface hard drive. So that way BFD3 is actually useful whenever you're just using your Surface. Okay, no matter where you're at, close it down. Okay, so, you know, you could be laying back anywhere and working on drums. Go back to the Groove Editor. You can see you can draw your notes in very easily here in the Groove Editor here in BFD3. So that's pretty much it for this video. Just a few tips on using BFD3 on a Surface Pro 3, Surface Pro 4, or any sort of Windows tablet.